Hello girls, happy new year. Best wishes from, best wishes from, best wishes from. <laughs> So last night while I was flying over the Atlantic, I was trying to sleep because it was already one o'clock at night in the Netherlands and you need to adjust to your new time schedule as soon as possible, yada yada yada. But I couldn't sleep because it was only six in the afternoon in Houston and I've never tried to sleep at six before. So naturally I couldn't sleep. So with my blanket over my head and my weird little pillow thing, I started thinking about why the internet is so awesome, about Jane Austen, about talking owls, about why the little girl next to me was so incredibly whiny, and about jet lags. Because of course I was already anticipating mine. It's seven hours time difference. And then I started thinking about the term jet lag and I came to the conclusion that it's not totally correct. Because when I fly from Amsterdam to Houston, I feel like I'm later than the time I'm actually at in Houston, so the time in Houston is lagging behind the time I'm adjusted to. However, if I fly from Houston to Amsterdam, I'm used to an earlier time than the time in the Netherlands. So basically the time I'm living at is forwarded to what I'm feeling inside. Basically, you can only apply the term jet lag to when I travel from Amsterdam to Houston, because my feeling is lagging behind. If I travel from Houston to Amsterdam, time is forwarded. I'm, I lose seven hours, so it shouldn't be called a jet lag. It should be called a jet forward, right? Basically, when you're traveling east, the time where you're traveling to is later than the time from the point of origin where you're coming from. So every time you travel east, you should be suffering from a jet forward. When you're traveling west, the point of origin is always later than the point where you're traveling to. So you are lagging behind in time. So it should be called a jet lag. So I would like to suggest something. Let's call west traveling jet lagging and east traveling jet forwarding. One, you know which direction someone was traveling in. And two, it makes a lot more sense. Anyway, the best solution still is to have a universal time zone so you're not suffering from any jet lag and you can just communicate with everyone over the world without being afraid of waking them up in the middle of the night or you being woken up by some weird telephone call from Japan or whatever. You know, I don't think we'll have real globalization unless we have a universal time zone. Anyway, this was my first video in 2011. My New Year's resolution, or one of them anyway, is to make more videos than I did in 2010. And I don't think it will be that hard because I didn't really make that many videos in 2010. Best wishes!